California. I, I agree. Entirely. I, I agree. I agree. Void. Yes, Void, man. Uh, this guy is just so dominant. He's definitely been one of the main people you're looking at when you go across the different regions, right, in terms of ultimate. Uh, shout out to the Sandbag <laughs> for that defense. And, you know, that. speaking of defense, that is something that many people tend to falter on when it comes to Void. Void has always been an aggressive player. He is always very precise when it comes to his conversions. Guy's a combo fiend. Mm -hmm. Right, and then he, of course, he's playing that lovely Pichu, Pichu. and best believe that is the glass of the cannons, man. However, he's fighting against Trevante, and I believe Trevante is also from California, too. Yes, Trevante, NorCal. NorCal. I remember at one point back in the Smash 4 days when he used to go to tournaments heavily, he was ranked number one every single season. So yeah, you see, this is a new game. Uh, he's obviously playing it very seriously. Let's see if he's going to be able to take this away from Void, who's expected to win. Yeah, man, this is going to be cool because Cervante also is someone who uh, a lot of people don't know this, but he started off as a Palutena main. So when he found out his character, the goddess, was a coming correct and ultimate, he made the easy switch. He wanted to go back, and it's really interesting to see that because both these guys both came off playing Sheik in Smash 4. So they love to be fast-paced. They love to go for the edge guarding. They love the combos. So I think it's going to be a very, very explosive set. Yep, and I can see already Trevante is playing it really safe when it comes to going against Pichu. Pichu is very short, so sometimes it's hard to hit with that back air yep. with Palutena. So you have to go in at the right time to go for these uh, arrows and also space that back air really well so you can hit him. And I like how he's staying off the ground. He's avoiding the start of those Pichu combos. Well, here it is anyway. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, there's oh. another back air. I like that. Wow, play it extremely safe. I'm oh, actually yeah. surprised to see, you know, like someone who used to main Sheik. Yeah. Sheiks do not play safe. They go in oh. extremely aggressive. <laughs> but he does not care. He does not. Yeah, want that, was to get definitely, that was definitely a, a Smash 4 bouncing fish away. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> and going for that short hop up air off the platform, it does work. Maybe not around 100%, but against a character like Pichu, might be able to KO. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, Force Smash. Oh, yeah, that's going to be your life. All right, Pichu having some of the strongest attacks in the history of Smash yeah. for no reason. For no reason at all, man. <laughs> so that's definitely going to KO. Cannot KO of this, even though Pichu's really white. Let's see. All right, he's doing pretty back. good edge guarding and ledge trapping. Yep. Oh, there's something about that jolt. That jolt puts so much shield pressure, you actually can't really act out of it. Yeah. But it, fantastic there. It's so good just to run right behind that and have that added pressure and you can just sit back and really watch what your opponent's going to do. Uh oh, here we go again. Pichu's oh, lightning really loops. Lightning loops. My goodness. Pichu being so short, it's going to be really hard to get that neutral air to hit. Have yeah. to make sure to actually fall down a little bit harder in order to get that. And I like that neutral air right there. He tried to stuff out Pichu if Pichu decided to jump. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you said, that's going to be something that's really important to the character. It's not just like the character. Of course, the character is a glass cannon, but the character is also very, very small. The hurt box is very small, so it's easier said than done sometimes in terms of actually getting a, the proper hits to connect on this character to get that early stock. All right, there we go. Actually getting neutral air to hit, especially because Pichu decided to jump. Not the best recovery coming out from Void, but up throw into down B gets yep. it to hit, but he does not hit Pichu at the falling on the down B. Let's see if we can do it again. Nope. Oh. Wow. Yo. <laughs> the, the chases, man. It has him at 172, but guess Ooh. this. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. That read, he saw that roll. He saw that Trevante was in the corner. Knew that Trevante would be scared and likely roll way before and got that F tilt from across the yeah, stage. Man, that F tilt, man. Tesla's blessing, dude. That's why I <laughs> like that thing is just so freaking strong. Feels like extremely early percents. Good down tilt. It's a really great move for two framing. Yeah, it stays out so long. Yep. Good stuff by Trevante. Still actually doing pretty good. Only 36% on him. However, he's having trouble stopping that recovery right there. Remember, there's no hitbox on Pichu's upbeat compared to Pikachu's upbeat. However, boom, KO. Yeah, Nair. beautiful Nair. Also, the thing that you can do as well against that recovery for Pichu, like you said, it has no hitbox, but it has a huge hurtbox. So you really can kind of run down there and throw out Nair and actually snipe the character. Yep, uh, regardless, exactly. he's going to get that kill. 1% right now on Pichu. I keep forgetting that Pichu could do damage to himself. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He went from 1% to 3.8 in one attack. Yeah. Uh-oh, that f tilt. Got to watch out for that. Good stuff by actually going for the get-up attack and make sure to stop an f tilt from coming out. Yeah. And people are still trying to get accustomed to the fact that a get-up attack in this game has basically full invincibility until the hitbox comes out. Yeah. And which is very, very good because, of course, Woo! if you decide to Oh, oh okay. The beautiful pull down. cancel coming okay. out from Chavante. That was cute. That was, that was so cute. much damage. And he yeah. actually might be able to win this game oh. if he could get that fair. Down oh, tilt, two goodness. frames. Back here? No. I'm surprised we didn't oh. down tilt up smash something. And, yeah, he's going to wait. Okay. It looked like he was looking out for that upbeat platform cancel. Chavante playing it safe, but not oh. safe enough. 
Wait a minute. Oh, we back. Up B. No, that's a questionable recovery. Oh, but he's going to be okay. He, he will take. Oh, 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 everyone trying to do pull downs. Up throw. Up throw. Oh, my God. And we are off. Wow. Game one, boy. Fantastic patience coming out from both players. Wood able to get that grab into up throw, into down B. He was actually missing that down B confirmed before. Like, he would do down B, I think, either on the ground or he would short hop and still be under the platform. This time he went really high off that jump to make sure that when after he came down from being hit by the down B, he could yeah. actually hit Pichu and be KO'd. Absolutely. And I'm not surprised that that was uh, fairly close. Again, Trevante is someone who is among the best talents in West Coast. Sometimes people just don't really see much of NorCal, you know, really in the shadow so far overall. But uh, when these guys can come out and play, they definitely play. So really good stuff there with Javante. Needs to make some a little adjustments. But you know the mark of a great player is even when you're winning, you're still making adjustments to be that much better. And best be sure that boy's going to be doing that in this game too. All right, here we go. Getting his neutral to work. But however, he fell out of the neutral. Is that like a... I heard... I don't know if uh, Palutena's neutral got nerfed or buffed. He got buffed. So he got buffed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. still fell out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, well, we're still on 1.21. Uh, oh, true. So, but then, like, another one is actually definitely got a buff. Okay, true. All right, well, here we go. Still looking for these backers. Trying to play real safe, but 82% already on Trevante. All right. Could not catch the landing, even though he saw through it. That F tilt looked like it might have meant to fall through before there. But some problems that people have with this game is that they can't fall through the platforms when they want to. Yeah. It's like different properties. Okay, beautiful bear. Explosive Flame out there. You get the kill. Good Nair is going to hit him right back out. Explosive Flame, yes, the setup. All right, I thought he was going to run off neutral air, but he's playing it safe. I agree with that choice. That dash attack, no, he will KO, but up throw into, let's see what he can do. No, nope. I'm not going to get it. That's always scary oh to me. Oh my gosh, what a catch. That's always scary. Whenever he does the up throw to down B, when he misses the down B, Trevante isn't punishing Pichu for it. I know there isn't too much lag, but like, what if he actually does do it one day? Especially at that percent, he could have exactly. got the KO. But yeah, regardless, he got it. Yeah, definitely got the kill, but I completely agree. Uh, you know, potentially go for an up air in that situation. But nonetheless, Void felt pressured, and he was able to uh, win out of that situation. It's really good stuff. I'll try to go for a lightning loop. Not going to get it this time, especially at this high percent. Especially going like, to pull down uh, Epto to make a kill. One, bear. one thing I really like about what Trevante is doing, you can tell he's had some Pichu practice, is that he's jumping over to Jolts, not allowing it to hit his shield when he blocks him. Boom, there it is Ooh. again. He did the short hop to down B, however, he was like slightly above the platform, so it yeah. worked out this time. Okay. Yeah, Void's just kind of dashing back here. I love shield. this. Trevante's play style right now is like, you do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, right. like, he's like, I'm an advantage. You have to hold that. I got the percentage lead. Oh, he had that read that time. However, he ran oh. a little bit too far. Almost the lightning loop. Yep. But now we have the Nair loop coming out from Palutena. Let's see the edge guard. Yeah. And it seems like the lightning loops are going to be a bit harder on a character like Palutena. Palutena being a somewhat floaty character. And so, or like the character rather too. So it's re actually really nice for Trevante in that kind of situation. He doesn't have to be so afraid of the lightning loops. All right, and see that back air? Not able to get us a hit yet. It looks like he's already looking for that KO, 92%. Good choice, maybe one dash attack or... Whoa, okay, okay. All right, he's doing it. I love that he did that because every time he went for it before, he tried to do down tilt to yep. bear, he would miss it. So this time he's like, you know what, screw it. Exactly. I'm gonna try like to time it. that. I'm gonna wait for you to air dodge and get something else. Oh my gosh, had the read there, did not get that grab. The character was just too small. Uh oh. Unfortunate. For Trevante, right, that, that back throw nice. would have done it. Yeah, yeah, that was a nice recovery right there. However, yeah, Trevante playing a little too safe, sometimes shielding and allowing Pichu to get that grab. I think Void is starting to see that and just getting a bunch of grabs. Yeah. Here it goes. We might see another one coming out really soon. Okay, beautiful cancel. He's going to get back in center stage with the F tilt, and that's going to get a kill. And we're looking at 74%, and I know the NorCal crowd is coming alive. Oh, coming alive for certain. But, oh my Ooh. gosh. Oh. Down throw. Up air. Oh my. Down B. All right, Not all the best right. of DI. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Oh. Point of the SD. Unfortunate, no. unfortunate. At least that's the one game where he could throw, like, out in SD. He won the first game. Uh, very. These are very close games, by the way. That, but That's the thing that makes me scary because, yeah. you know, yeah, of course, you have a game to give, so to speak. But when you, ha when you win a nail biter and then the second game you go for an SD, that's that's a rough one because that gives your opponent so much confidence because you know what they're thinking in their head? Heck, I could have had a 2-0 already. Yeah, you know? Exactly. So you might be looking out for that. And I want to see what Void's going to do, what stage he'll actually go to. Now it's yeah. his counter pick. Let's see what it is, guys. It is final destination. No platforms in the way. No excuses for down to not fully connect. Let's see how he does this time around. And the stage is pretty small. Getting off the ledge versus Pichu. Kind of tough. Yep. And again, Trevante playing it real safe. 
Okay, just and going for the standard ledge grab. Uh, up, or a ledge edge grab, but you don't really get anything there. And it's getting started right now. All right, there we go. Clean. Please. Going for that full hop neutral. He actually landed with the neutral. He fast fell it. Yeah. So he can still be able to hit Pichu. In this case, he did not leave the ground. Exactly. Oh, gotta watch that spacing. Pichu could just run in really fast. Oh my gosh. Man, two. <laughs> two right in the face. <laughs> Point blank. Uh oh, that move is definitely risky against a character that's this short. If you miss it, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Interesting recovery again. Always recovering to the stage. Not the ledge. He doesn't want to get ledge trapped. Okay, that's going to be a grab. No. Oh, oh no. God. That is so rough because that is the second time we've seen him whiff a grab, trying to grab on that landing, and because of it, lose his life. Yeah. Unfortunate right there coming out from Trevante. However, again, this character can be KO'd early, so let's see if he can just rack up some more damage. However, we're seeing an overlap right now in stocks and damage. Okay. Nice spacing by Trevante, hoping for something, maybe a back throw. Actually, back throw shouldn't be able to KO, so you might have to go for dash attack back here. And I still am not sure if he'll KO, especially from the center of the stage. Yeah. What is he looking for? Oh, he's trying to be really patient here, trying to find an opening, but Boy's going to take that patience. Okay, nice feature leg. Gets back on the stage, regains stage control. However, it doesn't matter with how Pichu could just upbeat to the center of the stage, and it's kind of hard to predict where he'll land. Yeah. All right, back throw, not going to be able to KO. And we're going down throw. Set up and the wait. I love it. I love it. All right, that was definitely a better option. Instead of just regaining stage control, he decided to go for something where he can actually follow up afterwards, depending yeah. on how he gets the read. Right. That's a one. Okay, the carry. Fantastic DI from Boy, making sure not to get hit by any more neutral layers. Yeah. However, the percent was pretty high, so it might not have followed up anyway. Absolutely. But one of the great things, too, for Void is Void. You notice how he was playing with his back towards the wall. So if he did get hit by Nair, he wasn't going to get hit by much. And oh. wow, that bear's going to kill. My gosh, that was like around 100, 110%. He got down tilt. And I saw what he did. Trevante tried to do get up attack to stop that F tilt from potentially be hitting him. He didn't. And that's what the thing. Void saw that last time, and that this time he decided to wait and get that punish. Yeah. So that sequence right there by Void was so good at the ledge because. Even though Terrante could have gotten up at every time, like, you know, at different times, there are certain timings that people have usually when they get up from the LH. They usually either get up immediately, they pick an option immediately, then they go for a slight delay and do something. So I love that Void shielded at the appropriate times just in case he picked the option in that kind of window. Very, very smart and great awareness of how people tend to play. All right, and there it goes again, actually up being to the stage. However, we're going to see up throw into down beam. Miss, however, no punishment. Oh, and just like that, the young Taser and Void is going to move on. Wow, this character's simply too fast. Looks like Javante wasn't able to keep up with good stuff by Javante. Yeah.